Hi guys, really quick video here. Uh, it's a demonstration of just um, what one shorter turn can do on a, a transformer. Um, now I set this up with my shorter turn detector. Um, I actually built this uh, 2001 for uh, testing um, shorter turns and flyback transformers. Now as you can see there, it's uh, I've coupled it up to this transformer out an old Philips TV. Um, if you look there, it's saying line output transformer good. Um, here, I've just got one single piece of wire wrapped around the limb of the transformer with two bare ends. And what I'm going to do is you're going to touch these together and see the effect on the meter. So here we go. Try and hold the camera at the same time. Not easy. Let's see if we can hold them. Right, so I'll just touch them together to make sure to turn. If you look at that, it's saying transformer good. And touch them together and suddenly it becomes bad. So that's the difference that just one single short turn can make in an inductor or a transformer. That's open, it's good. One shorter turn, it drops bad. And that's just a single piece of wire just wrapped around the limb of the transformer. So that's a demonstration of the effect. Just one single turn shorter on the transformer. And that is the reason, uh, here's another thing, that's the reason why you can't put cups in a microwave that has a gold circle on because at radio frequency that gold circle will actually be a shorter turn so you're effectively putting um, a shorter turn inductor into an RF field that's the reason you can't put um, gold edge cups in a microwave and there you go guys that's the effect of just one single shorter turn onto a transformer Okay guys, so, um, subscribe to my channel for some more. Goodbye.